In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Suica on Android. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. Using Suica on an Android device is possible. However, there are some requirements. I'm gonna talk about how to properly set up your Suica card to use in an Android wallet and consequently use your phone with NFC capabilities. Like I said in the beginning, while it is possible, there is one very strict requirement. Your phone needs to be manufactured in Japan. It might seem weird, but as of today, only phones manufactured in Japan have the actual physical chip with the NFC capabilities for the Suica card to be used and your balance used for any transactions when you place your phone near the card reader. It is very unfortunate because I assume that most people who are going to be traveling to Japan don't have a device manufactured in there. So you can consider some options. While you go to Japan, you could buy an entirely new phone if you are willing to do it just to have your Suica card link to an Android wallet or alternatively look for devices like a watch that maybe has the chip that you need. I cannot give you exact details on what devices are going to have that chip but as long as an Android device has NFC capabilities is manufactured in Japan and that is the most important part and you can link different cards including transit cards and Suica cards to it you will be able to have your Suica card on Android and as you might expect the actual process of using the Suica card on an Android is by opening it up going into your Google wallet and in there tap the plus sign to add a new transit card or any sort of usual Suica card it is unfortunate, but it is a very strict requirement that you need to follow. Make sure that you have an Android device manufactured in Japan to use the Suica card. I hope I was able to help you on how to use Suica on Android. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.